Hey, what's up guys, Eddie Van Hill, 98 here with a how to make a 2D game tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about localization. Now this is where you essentially make sure you, that your app or game is compatible with as many languages as possible and that your game just adapts to whatever language you are building for. And how we do this is with property files. So uh, we're going to create a new folder in our assets. Uh, folder. We're going to call this bundles. Uh, we're going to create our first property bundle. Whoops. New uh, file. File name uh, bundle dot properties. This is just going to be like the base one. This is going to be one uh, without any language or anything. So game. Um, my game. So this is essentially the default one. And then all we've got here is a string that says hello world. That, that's the only thing that this uh, app actually has. If I just run this, yes. Then all we've got is text that says hello world. And we're just going to make that uh, translatable. So we'll just have the hello world string. In fact, just text equals hello world and that's it that's our, that's our default one what we're going to do now is create the bundle essentially so I'm gonna pop it pop it up here um, so it's the i 18 n bundle class uh, we're just gonna call it bundle import it whoops yep and over here we're gonna have bundle equal to uh, I 18n bundle dot create bundle and our bundle is located in gdx files dot internal what was it bundles and um, we've called it bundle Locale, this is essentially the list of languages that we're going to have, so a new locale. Uh, I want NGB, which is English Great Britain. Uh, the proper English, uh, French, and let's go with Italian as well. Import locale. That should be good to go. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and create those other ones. And bundle IT. Let's go find these translations. So in French we've got Bonjour Le Monde. I apologize if I butchered that. French is not exactly my forte. So here we'll put that. And then Italian is, uh, let's see, Italian, Italian, Italian. Where are you? Where are you? Ciao Mondo, right, so basically the same thing. <laughs> Was that racist? Probably. Okay, back to our main class. Uh, now we're just gonna fetch the localized strings. So text is gonna equal uh, bundle dot get. And the key here is text. Whoops. Yeah, and if we run this now, uh, the English one, the default one, is working just fine. And if we just knock off the NGB one and run it, we get the French one. And if we knock off the Italian one, we get the Italian one. Absolutely golden. And that is how to essentially support your app for different languages. That's it for this tutorial, guys. I uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, then leave a like and a comment. And of course, subscribe for more. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.